Timely and Appropriate Investigations Outline Introduction Common Blood Tests in ICU Chest X-ray Echocardiography Electrocardiogram ECG Bronchoscopy Introduction Patients in intensive care are seriously ill and their condition changes often. In order to identify actual or impending problems and to monitor the effects of treatment, critically ill patients will have a wide variety of pathology tests on different body fluids, for example, blood and urine. Common blood tests in ICU EUC, electrolytes, or urea, or creatinine. Urea and creatinine are direct measure of how well the kidneys are working. This test is usually performed on admission to the ICU and on a daily basis if there's a concern regarding the kidney function or chemical balance the EUC will be repeated more often. Arterial blood gas, ABG Most patients in ICU will require at least one ABG, usually on admission. This test is done more frequently than EUC, especially if the lung function is impaired and or the patient is receiving respiratory support. For example, BIPAP, ventilator or oxygen mask. Liver function tests, LFTS. As the name suggests, this test evaluates the function of the liver. The liver is quite susceptible to poor functioning in a number of critical conditions. The test is usually done daily with results available in one to two hours. Cardiac enzymes, CE. There are a number of cardiac enzymes that are released into the blood when there is damage to the heart muscle. CEs are usually estimated several times in the first 24 hours if a cardiac incident is suspected. For patients admitted to the coronary care unit, CCU. CE is usually done on a regular basis. Full blood count, FBC. A FBC is usually done on admission and then daily. If blood transfusions are required or there is a concern regarding bleeding, the FBC will be done more frequently. Coagulation studies, coags. Regular coagulation studies are required when a patient is receiving anti clotting drugs such as heparin or warfarin. The test is done on admission and then daily unless the coagulation status is abnormal. When starting a heparin infusion or commencing warfarin therapy, Frequent testing may be required before the right dosage is established. Blood sugar level, BSL. The test is generally done at the patient's bedside using a small glucometer. The BSL will be done more frequently if the patient is diabetic. The BSL is unstable. The patient is receiving a medication that could affect the BSL or if keeping the BSL within a tight range is required. Other tests Urinalysis It involves taking a small amount of urine and inserting a test strip into it. This strip can indicate a number of abnormalities, including infection, dehydration, abnormal kidney or liver function, presence of glucose or ketones or blood. Pathology tests to identify 
possible infection. This will normally involve blood cultures, a sputum and urine specimen, as well as samples from any other sites such as wounds. Blood cultures Blood cultures are done when an infection is suspected and to monitor the progress of antibiotic treatment. MSU Midstream Urine Test The urine specimen is taken to the microbiology laboratory and tested to identify an infection. Wound Swabs If a wound, such as an abrasion or surgical incision, appears infected, a wound swab is usually done. CSF Cerebrospinal Fluid a CSF specimen is sent for identification of possible infection as a routine procedure. Chest X-ray A chest X-ray is an invaluable diagnostic tool for detecting possible problems and is used as a method of monitoring the progress of a patient. A chest X-ray can detect changes in the size and shape of the heart. Abnormalities in the major blood vessels such as the aorta. Fluid collection in the air sacs of the lungs caused by heart failure, pulmonary edema. Lung problems including collapse of the lungs, pneumonia, tumors and pneumothoraces. Echocardiography Echocardiography uses sound waves to create an image of the beating heart. An echo is able to detect structural abnormalities in the heart, including the heart muscles and valves, blood flow abnormalities, cardiac output, volume of blood pumped by the heart, volume of blood in the heart. Abnormal conditions that can be identified include heart failure, heart attack, cardiomyopathy, cardiac tamponade, aortic valve abnormalities, mitral valve problems, pericarditis, cardiogenic shock, pulmonary hypertension, blood clots within the heart. Defects in the heart muscle walls. Electrocardiogram An ECG is a common diagnostic tool used by doctors and nurses to detect suspected heart problems or as a screening procedure prior to major surgery. An ECG can detect ischemic heart muscle previous heart attacks, damaged heart muscle, abnormal amounts of potassium in the blood, enlargement of the heart, congenital heart disease, abnormal heartbeats and rhythms, valvular heart disease. Bronchoscopy Bronchoscopy is a medical procedure which allows a long thin tube to be passed into the airway, which is called the bronchoscope. Purpose Bronchoscopy allows for assessment and evaluation of the upper airway structures. It is used to diagnose bleeding in the airway, identify abnormalities, to obtain samples of tissue and any abnormalities to remove foreign objects lodged in the airway.